the show, so to speak, using air quotes, uh, spoke with me during the break, and I, I had some interesting insights about this topic. Uh, Dan, go ahead with some of your criticisms of this topic. So I have kind of, kind of three things. Uh, first of all, uh, as much as it's a buzzkill being in uh, pork fest thinking that this isn't just like, you know, anarchy simulation, so to speak, um, it, it is a private event, right? I mean, there are rules going on on top of just the non-negotiation principle and certain people who have spoken about certain topics, which I won't think into specifically, but they've been banned from the event, right? And um, so it's not, it's not the first example of this sort of thing. So, I mean, this is a private campground, a private event. So, I mean, so I, I don't know if you're raising this question as if this was, you know, simulation of a free society, um, but like, the, you know, Gora Valley is like a public street, you know, yeah. or is this, you know, do we uh, understand this as a, as a private event, you know, with, with very loose rules, you know? How do you see it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I try to pretend as much as, it, as, I, as I can that it's not, you know, uh, uh, that, that it is like uh, a public thing that we're, you know, that, that it isn't a controlled private event, but I, I mean, ultimately I do see it as a private event. How many times have you been to pork fest? This is my third time. And uh, how does this compare to past pork fests so far? Um, this is, so um, I was not here last year. I was here two years ago and then the year before that. Mm -hmm. Uh, two years ago, it was, um, it, this is, this is more exciting because it's a lot bigger. The year before that was way more exciting than, than, two, than 2012. I, we'll see how this year turns out, but the year, but, but that was before the NH Liquor Commission had their, had their little chat with Rogers Campground. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that was, that was, that definitely felt like, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we had achieved a free society for that week. <laughs> Why do you come to Porkfest? Um, I come to Pork Fest because it's a, a lot of, it's, to be around people of that mindset where I can, you know, ask someone if they accept silver without feeling embarrassed about it. Um, have you done that? Oh yeah. I mean, this, I mean, I did that my first year. I mean, yeah, I, I've, I've already, yeah. Did you spend any silver here if, at any of the vending tables this Pork Fest? Yeah. Yeah. I brought, I mean, I brought some silver, some one ounce rounds. I have to go through the awkward thing of like, so here's this thing. I'm, Pretty sure it's real. I got it at this, you know, vendor, in, you know, at a at a precious metals dealer. Uh, will you give me change for this, you know? Because there there are some smaller uh, denominations that are going around that people recognize the top block, top block people have them. I yeah, mean, how about those Sons of Liberty Mint Silver? Right. Yeah. So, Do you use those? Uh, I mean, once I've gotten change, yeah, I've been using. So okay, you've you're a pork fest veteran in that you've been here three years, uh, not consecutively. But what would you do if you saw this happening? Would you feel uh, compelled to interfere or intervene in any way? Me personally, no. I certainly would not. Um, would you be surprised, shocked, offended? Um, I would be. Let's see. I would be a little surprised. Uh, I mean, a little shocked only because it's not. It would be the first time I saw it outside of a tent uh, at pork fest, and um, and. It would be, uh, and I would not be offended. So you were talking about uh, your criticisms of me bringing up this topic on a libertarian-leaning show. These are not libertarian issues, you said. These are about property rights. So whose rules uh, should we be following here, and, and who has the authority to make rules? I, I would guess, ultimately, Rogers. Rogers can't be around, and, and, uh, and that they, they sort of delegate authority to... Uh, I guess the free, the free State Project, who thereby delegates authority to the Church of the Sword, is doing mm. security. <laughs> I don't know. But, Sounds shaky. Well, Do you think that everyone along that chain was notified about this conflict? Uh, no. no, and, and I mean, if, if that's the argument you're going to make, I'll, I'll support you. But um, I'm, I'm not making any arguments. I'm <laughs> just asking. Oh, questions. sure, sure. If you're, if you're just, yeah, definitely. Um, He's uh, I, I, I really don't know. I mean, if. Pro probably not. I mean, probably somebody, a bunch of people complained to the security, and the security felt compelled to, to have a talk with you and have you put something on. So, yeah, pro probably Rogers. Okay, so not everybody needs to be a, a, needs to be notified, notified, though. I don't think Rogers wants to know about everything that goes on, you know, in detail. And then, uh, the, you know, Carlos, you know, doesn't need to know everything that's going on uh, at the event either. Carlo, the president of the Free State. Right, I'm sorry, yes. Uh, uh, and so I don't know that everybody needs to be. Um, I don't know if 
So this is a proper delegation of responsibility in your view, and, and the, was the right or wrong decision made? So, I mean, it, pro it, it was a delegation of authority. Whether it's proper, I mean, maybe, I'd say maybe it was, it was a unfortunate, but perhaps proper tentative decision. Um, was the right decision made. Um, it's legal in New Hampshire to be bare-chested as a man or a woman, so yeah. is Rogers or the Free State Project well, okay. playing the right role by imposing new rules are, and restrictions are, upon are, women? Are, as libertarians, are we concerned with what happens to be legal? I mean, I, we're, we're concerned with, we're concerned with uh, what's kind of right or wrong, the law should be followed with that. Um, so, yeah, was, I mean, was, was the right decision made? I think that just depends on the makeup of the people here. I mean, whether whether they, they find that. I mean, this is this is a libertarian festival, and we're primarily concerned with libertarian, you know, not aggression principle. But the next question is, how open are we? Because it's not necessarily anti-libertarian to be very socially conservative, and you know, and, and have to sort of um, judge people on that standard. Um, but that said, we are, I think. Protest is a fairly socially liberal environment, but is it that socially liberal that someone could just walk down? You know, in, in, I mean, um, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about the comments Dan's making, Nicole? I understand. <clears throat> I understand about the uh, the private events um, in the you know uh, privately owned places. Um, I actually had an issue with a theme park and. Um, I talked with the... Were you topless at a theme park? Yes. Oh. For a minute and before. Mm -hmm. Kind of circled around me and um, called me horrible names and dragged security over it and said I should be kicked out. And, uh, you know, because... Um, well, one woman was standing with her daughter and she said, you know, my son is here. Her son was not present, but her daughter was, but she put the emphasis on the fact that her, her son was there. And so that was part of her argument of why I shouldn't have been like that. Um, and she just, she called me, you know, fat and ugly and things like that. And uh, Do you carry a video camera when you uh, do this? I mean, you have to know sometimes that you're going to get a reaction, right? I mean, the, as at, much at as we wish places, this were normalized, it's not yet. Yeah, at, at, at some places, I'm just like, okay, you know, what's the res response going to be? Because I've gotten everything from screaming people, you know, threatening and everything else, um, to, you know, disgusting cat calls all the way across the beach. Um, and then I've gotten people who who commend me and say, you know, uh, you know, I, I think it's awesome. Like, I... I support the right to choose to want to do that. Um, I don't have the guts to do it myself, but I think what you're doing is really cool. Um, and I've gotten people who uh, will, they'll have small children with that one woman. She had her small children and I, I was getting out of the water and I realized, oh, I don't know if she, she kind of floated over here. I don't know if she realizes that I don't actually have a top on. So I'm nervous of what her, the response is gonna be. I'm mm -hmm. chatting with her. And I got out, and the only thing that she said, her daughter was standing right next to me on the shore, and she, she said, you know, honey, don't stare. And then she looked at me and said, I'm sorry, and, you know, she's only four, and she just, you know. And, oh, and how nice and encouraging. Yeah, and I said, oh, please don't, don't apologize. This is really refreshing. Where was that? Um, this was at the Chimney Bluffs in the of New York. But was this another private establishment? Um, was it was a public was a state place? Park. Okay, a state park. Okay, so... Uh, this is a different situation. Some might say we're comparing apples to oranges, Dan. Um, probably I may say state park. Um, the state park. Oh, I'm sorry. I kind of jumped between two two different things. The the mother who was refreshing that was a state park. The the woman who called the horrible nasty names and called security that was a theme park. Um, Oh, I am kind of jumping around and not finishing thoughts. I spoke with somebody at the Human Rights Division, I believe is what it's called, um, and they, I was basically told that they're a private establishment and they can make whatever rules they want and the rules can be sexist. So how do you feel about that? You know, I, I think it's, I guess it's unfair 
but I understand property rights, you know, so it's like, oh, I wish it wasn't like this, but I understand, and I can just choose not to go to that business anymore. Well, it's going to be hot. It's Port Fest 2014. It's the middle of summer, and we're in the mountains, so it's going to be hot. Uh, we're going to have to see what will come in these future days. Just this summer happened to you.